shapeshifters come from, yeah. um, you have to really do research. That's why the Bible yeah. said to study to show yourself approved. Matter of fact, I was just sitting here uh, the other day um, just watching regular old TV, trying to uh, see what's going on, and I had it on um, the channel CVS, which is um, Illuminati. You know, it clearly got the eye on there, but I like to find out what's going on. And they did a commercial of CSI, and they started running all the CSI shows that was had been played previously. And they actually have a show where they're talking exactly about what we've been saying. They're talking about boldly about shapeshifters. It's a uh, reptilian. It was a whole um, show about it, which I didn't watch, but it was just talking about the um, episodes. And so I Googled CSI reptilians, and lo and behold, there's the episode, and it's talking all about it. And I'm, my daughter, I think, is going to put that link, put down. link down. And so this is a show, you know, on open TV, and it's talking about exactly what we're saying. And, yeah, um, and people, of course, think it's crazy and insane, but mm -hmm. what the Illuminati does is do uh, reverse psychology. If mm -hmm. they put it in plain sight, then, it's fact, then you'll say, oh, it's not true if they're putting it on TV. And it's, it's basically a reverse psychology. And then on top of that, the Illuminati is very arrogant. All of them are very arrogant people. They don't really honestly care about people talking about them. They don't care about people knowing about them because they feel like they got it on lock because they've been doing this for thousands and thousands of years, basically controlling human beings and basically they feel like they ha they don't you have nothing you nothing you can basically do about that. Do about um, right. So next them. year they're so close to the opening, it might be why they're being a little more bolder and yeah, um, a little more shape shifting is going on on TV and even in human human form. And um, back to the prosperity uh, teachers, I was in a um, my daughter and I went to, um, it was supposed to have been a conference last week, and I said, well, let me just go, and hopefully these people are on the right accord, and maybe they are picking up what's going on. And lo and behold, it was exactly what we're talking about, a well-known preacher. He was there with another gentleman, and um, they both looked like they stepped out of Las Vegas. <laughs> it was just ridiculous. And then when they started calling from, in the whole sermon, um, it was supposed to have been about faith, but then he went into giving all this money. And if you didn't give all this money, and he kept counting down like, a, uh, I don't know, just he started at one level, and he went all the way down to $20. Pretty much if you didn't have it or didn't give, there was no prayer over you. There was no call for salvation. Now, this is a conference that it could have been strangers there. It could have been unsaved people there. Some of the members could have been unsaved. There was no call for salvation. They did the call. They got their money, and, and, then, and it was over. Mm -hmm. So I said, what in the world is going on? So it's a lot of these big name preachers, um, sometimes even in your local city, that may not be doing Jesus, not doing the work of Jesus Christ anymore. They have gotten off base. Yeah, it's 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 crazy, and the Christians they're so not ready because the preachers that have somewhat gifts on TV or even in reality without being on TV are too busy trying to wrap up, trying to get a big mansion, trying to get a big house, trying to get all these females, trying to live this type of celebrity life. When it's not about that, it's not about the money, it's about the souls. And Christians are not ready. We're bickering and arguing, especially the blacks, which I'm gonna get into in the next um, video. The blacks are not ready for what's going on and we're one of the most prophetic people on earth but you're too busy running around doing nonsense that you can't pick up on what's going on and I'm going to get into that in the next uh, part five of this.